actually each time I tell uh, Tanishka, my daughter is also part of this inter uh, intersection series, uh, each time I tell her that, no, I'm not going to speak, she's like, mom, you're not going to speak. Why do you have to speak each time? I'm like, our topics are much different than what your topics are, the way you relate. Uh, to uh, any of the comedy or any of the things now, we are so different. I told her like, okay, you can choose like food. I think we as South Asians, we connect on food. Yes. Food is our uh, a, a thing that can get us together. The biryani, the kebabs. I think nobody can make the biryani and kebabs like you guys can make it. Yes. Nobody can touch it. It's so amazing. And when we were little, uh, that time, when we were little in India, we used to not go out to restaurants. Going out to restaurants was like maybe once in six months or once in a uh, year or two. It was not very common. And that time, making biryani for somebody who is um, Hindu was not that uh, common. My mom never knew how to make biryani. So we used to wait the whole year for the Ramadan when our neighbors come and give us. I know, it was so nice that time. Our neighbors used to always come and give us biryani and shurkuma. Yeah. That's what they call she it can. here. Yeah, yeah shurkuma. So we used to wait for that and we could never make it like them. But as we grew up and went to college and everything, yes, going to restaurants became more common. And nowadays, like every weekend we have biryani, okay? <laughs> every weekend we have kebabs. Uh, especially our, my husband, or dad, like this. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we are fond of this curry me, then uh, mirchi cafe, yes, yes. and all the spicy. Oh my God, though my daughter has very low spice level, I, as a Asian parent, I push her for the spice. I'm like, you try it, you'll be fine. Drink the water, but eat it. I don't care if you drink the water, but eat it, eat the spice. And then again, um, wearing the Indian clothes, okay? Kids don't like wearing Indian clothes sometimes because it's like pokey pokey and yeah. everything. Though we try to get the softest material, I'm like, no, you have to wear it. I don't care, you have to wear it. It's like, okay, mom, I'll wear the jewelry, I'll wear the clothes for just for you and just, she's like, you want me to wear it just for pictures so that you can post it on Facebook <laughs> and show how Indian your kids are. <laughs> That's that's all they want. I'm like, and that's what my husband says too. He's he is chilled out like him, like in the shots, no matter where, how, when. And he's like, you just want to post the pictures. That's it. I said, yes, I want to post the pictures. And you know what? I realized that I was talking to somebody over there. That nowadays I feel we uh, South Asians living in America are more rooted to our culture and are uh, dressing then uh, my friends in India. My friends are India go clubbing every weekend, okay? They go clubbing every weekend, they dress all westernized. If you go in an Indian shalwar kameez yeah. with them, oh my God, they're like, have you come from America? It doesn't seem like nobody dresses up like this over here. You look like a, we say, we say kakubai. Kakubai is like a. Our servants dress like that. Yeah, they, they are, oh my God. And even now, uh, when I when they see me dress traditionally and post pictures on Facebook, they're like, what? You, you are way behind. India has progressed ahead. Where are you? And actually, one more thing I'm very grateful for is um, coming to this country is I came to know about so many, so many Muslims everywhere. And uh, my patients too, okay? I have uh, patients who are from Bangladesh, patients who are in, from in Africa and are Muslim. I didn't know that it was so common in Africa to have Muslims, as Muslim as a religion. I did not know before I came here. See, when you're in India, you I think you're just closed in that community and then you don't think yeah. beyond that. But when you come here, oh, so many Muslims from Ethiopia, Africans and everybody from Midwest, from Turkey, yeah. right? From all those uh, Middle China. West uh, countries. And you know. even in China. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is it? Even in China? China. Yeah. Oh, China. Yeah. 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 oh, really? Yeah, and I see actually so many even conversions happening that I hear on YouTube and everything, especially with Africa and 
uh, in African areas. So I think that also gives you a very uh, broader, I've, we have always had friends and we don't uh, always, uh, you know, we don't ask the religion and make friends, okay? We just make friends depending on how you vibe with the person or how your thoughts match the person. If you like biryani. <laughs> biryani comes later. First. <laughs> I know. So, <laughs> yeah, if you're going to give it to me, then I'll be a friend. No? Yes. But so Barter. many friends we made after coming to this country. I think it opens up the mind yes. so much more. You're open to new people. You're open to new things. And I'm really thankful. And another thing I really respect about you guys is the Ramadan, like the fasting. Man, I can never do that without water for so many hours. I. I mean, hats off to you guys for doing that fasting. Our fasting is a lot of eating. We eat a lot of the fasting foods, like the khichdi, and oh, we have a lot of fasting food. So uh, it, it, it is, I think it takes a lot to do that, and I have great respect for that. And I think we all should have great respect for each other. And the music, actually. That's what I was telling my daughter. You should talk about Bollywood music or yeah. Bollywood movies. Yeah. We watch Fawad Khan. Yeah. We watch the... <laughs> yeah, we, we watch the Pakistani teleseries and everything. So we connect on the Bollywood. We connect on music, Rahat Fadeh Ali Khan music and all those um, things. So it's Atif, amazing. Atif Fatnam. So many of them, and then uh, yeah. But uh, I think um, it's I'm just. I know <laughs> my husband is better at that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. I mean, that's it.